Hello there, it's Stingus Life. I'm back with another Blu-ray Steelbook update. Um, this is take two because I forgot uh, to show one. Um, so I thought I'd bring it up. Uh, so we have four Steelbooks this week. Um, three of which I got this week. And one I got last week but I forgot to show. Um, so we're going to start with that one first. Uh, the first two here are imports from Germany. Uh, the first one is Warrior. Um, been after this one for quite a while. It uh, went out of print and was going for around £35-40, pounds, which I wasn't prepared to pay. Um, but uh, I think it came back into stock on Amazon uh, briefly. And so uh, I managed to get it off an eBay seller for around £13, pounds, I think it was, uh, delivered. So I was very happy with that. Um, it's got the German sticker on the front that can come off. So I'll take that on when I get a bit of time. Um, uh, obviously you always get the printed backs which is a shame from Germany but nevertheless uh, there is at least some inside artwork on this one um, and uh, so yeah it was a, a nice uh, nicely priced pickup from eBay um, and you might have noticed I had it in one of these plastic cases um, got these from Movie Style uh, it's a French website and uh, basically it's like a slip case clear slip case it keeps they were far more protected than the poly bags ever could um, because when I was transferring them over um, I did notice some had slight damage uh, which a little bit annoyed about but um, these will definitely keep them more protected I've got I bought 50 and I've got another 100 on the way um, so I'll probably show them in more, more detail in another video um, the second one we got is faster I've already taken out the plastic um, this one I bought from uh, eBay as well uh, this one is the reprint because uh, the original print although it looks a bit nicer is it, still around £30 this one was 13 50 again 13 50 delivered around about the £13 mark um, so yeah very happy with this uh, no inside artwork but uh, it's still a cool looking cover get that open it's a bit uh, it's a bit stiff so yeah th those are just the two uh, cheap imports I've bought uh, they were cheaper than the UK ones that I've gotten um, so now we get into the two UK releases. Uh, this first one actually came out last Monday, Star Trek, but the Sammy didn't send it out until um, right around the weekend. I think it got on Tuesday, Tuesday or Wednesday. Um, it is as uh, expected a reprint, but uh, it's even got underneath. I haven't bothered to unseal it. You'll know why. Um, but uh, it's even got the Blu-ray banner underneath. I thought at least this version would be different in that respect that it would have uh, no Blu-ray banner but it still does uh, the only difference of course is this is one disc and not three discs it hasn't got the special features disc and it doesn't have the digital copy disc because they're defunct now um, and it has got a slightly different uh, rating on the back it's got a 5 star rating from the Guardian the original version had a 5 star rating from the Sun I'm not sure why they did that but there you go um, but yeah the reason I haven't unsealed this is because I've got the three disc play edition and so there's really no need to ever unseal this um, because <laughs> I'm not going to benefit from it uh, but yeah it's £15 pounds. Um, I'm glad for those people that can get this now um, and, and it's, I'm surprised well I'm not you know I'm not surprised by the amount of people who said you know have finally got this steelbook um, they don't know what all the fuss was about well with this steelbook it was never about the, the artwork you know people could see it was <laughs> pretty bad it's, it's not even in my top 10 um, probably not even top 20 steelbooks um, but it is a very valuable steelbook because there wasn't that many uh, available there was plenty made but just everyone who bought one never sold it so it uh, just got this sort of <laughs> uh, mythological sort of attachment to it and um, even now I've seen sealed copies of the original sell for three figures um, so it hasn't lost its value uh, it may do coming down if you've got an open one like me and, that, and that's probably why I decided to keep it I'd, I'd rather just keep it I mean, I could sell it, but I may as well just keep going with my complete collection. And uh, you know, it's it's hard to stop when you get that far when you've been doing it for uh, eight years. Um, it's hard to to say, okay, let's let's end it now. So I'll continue on as much as I can, anyway. So now we get to the the, the real good stuff now. Uh, this is the one that I'm really happy about. It's uh, Django Unchained. Um, haven't seen the videos for the some of the uh, American exclusives. I think it was Best Buy exclusive it looked very bad there's no um embossing or debossing or anything it, it just looked really terrible um thankfully we've got the other uh, version like i think it's target um that we've got so the back here got some nice artwork 
um, just basically the three main characters of the film um, and we have this really nice cover with the uh, embossed chains and embossed uh, triangle and chain and also the uh, border uh, which is a really nice effect um, so yes it's uh, in one of my uh, plastic uh, protectors so I'll just gently get this out um, now yeah when I got this I bought it from Asda for I think it was £18 um, and just because I knew that I would get it early like I got my Liam as a digital class week early and uh, it had a little ding on it um, on the cover on the, the T in the uh, there was a tiny little ding and so I was really annoyed because I knew I couldn't leave it like that I had to just to do something um, I didn't want to unseal it because then I'd be stuck with it um, but I really wanted to watch the film so I took a gamble uh, because of how flexible this is it's very thin I've got to admit that it's a very thin steel book because of the debossing uh, and the embossing on the front there um, I decided to open it up and use the inside uh, I've already removed the digital copy. Um, there's the disc and uh, some nice artwork on the inside. But I decided to um, try out a little technique, the uh, the spoon technique that some people use with uh, with dings. It's never worked for me in the past, but uh, it did this time. And I just very gently got a teaspoon and just rolled it, pressed it down. It was around about here. Pressed it down and just rolled it a bit for a few seconds. And uh, I didn't see the, the little ding anymore, and so I sort of <laughs> held my breath, uh, closed up the steel book, and sure enough, the the ding has gone from the T. I mean, there's probably a very, very slight mark there now. I probably won't even be able to pick it up, um, but it was a significant uh, but small ding, and it's now uh, basically gone. So, very happy with that, and I get, I get to, to keep it. And I watched the film last night, and I fully enjoyed it. Um, you know, it was a very quick nearly three hours two hours 45 minutes um didn't th didn't feel like a, a long film um but yeah very enjoyable um extremely liberal use of the n-word <laughs> that's for sure but uh no it was, a, it was a very good film i enjoyed it uh, right up there with uh inglorious uh bastards that enjoyed that film as well um and uh, yeah tarantino can do no wrong in my book um so uh, yeah that's the end of this video uh, and I'll be back uh, next week with another Steelbook update I'm not sure what's out next week um, I'm trying to think well there's something but uh, oh I think uh, I think the other Star Trek this this, uh, this is obviously the reprint there's another Star Trek coming out next week from Zaddy um, with uh, Chris Pine on the front and Zachary Quint on the back so there's that and I think there's also Blowout uh, Arrow release but I'm not really fussed on getting that right now I'll just wait till it's cheaper because Arrow steel books other than Zombie Flesh Eaters um, seem to hang around for years so uh, yeah so it might even be two weeks time but there's going to be a big update in two weeks time because uh, the 3rd of June there is uh, I think 11 steel books out and there's the, all the Batman uh, you know the Dark Knight trilogies are all coming out separately along with Batman and Batman Returns and uh, there's uh, I think with Neil and I uh, Commando, iRobot, Black Swan, um, Independence Day I think there's five or six other ones anyway uh, so there's a lot of still books coming out on the 3rd of June so that'll be a big uh, day I think Great Escapes out that day as well so uh, yeah there's about 11 so that'll be a massive update <laughs> um, in, in two weeks time so I might just keep the Star Trek till then and, and, and make it the dirty dozen um so yeah that'll do for this video anyway uh thanks again for watching i'll see you again soon take care for now